Hi everyone, my name is Kartik and my channel is about mental models. In my 16th video of this Cognitive Bias mini-series, I will be talking about the bandwagon effect. Now, we've all most likely heard of the saying, jumping on the bandwagon which means that because some people are taking some specific action or adopting an idea or supporting a claim, another person also follows them and, as the saying goes, jumps on the bandwagon. But this is more than just a saying. It is indeed a cognitive bias in that the uptake of beliefs and ideas grows as more people adopt them. In other words, if, as the popularity of an idea soars, other people support that idea purely because they see that increase in popularity, then that is the bandwagon effect in action. It's a very simple concept, but let's look at a couple of examples which may not at the outset seem like the bandwagon effect. So let's start with AI, artificial intelligence. As AI, the popularity of AI increases or skyrockets, companies are keen to incorporate AI technologies into their products. Very recently, we've seen mobile phones with various AI features in their camera technology be that super zooming capabilities or even the magic eraser which removes objects from the background. And whilst all this technology may be a good thing, companies deliberately use the buzzword AI in their marketing and TV ads, which will encourage consumers to buy their product thanks to the bandwagon effect. Rather than individuals assessing if those features, so these two as an example, if those features are really useful for them or not, the popularity factor of AI will convince So the popularity factor will, will convince these individuals that AI is always an innovative technology. The thought process is, as everyone else is using it, it must be helpful. And of course, companies take advantage of this. But in the real world, it may even be the case that it complicates the processes, AI complicates the processes it claims to simplify, such as it will be easier to turn on the music player yourself rather than shouting at the AI assistant multiple times to do it. Another example is from the world of finance. In that in a certain market, investors and buyers believed the market would continue to be stable because everyone else believed the same. The market was the
sub prime mortgage market where subprime mortgages were repackaged into mortgage backed securities and then sold on to investors. Financial institutions in the form of lenders, investors and buyers joined or jumped on the bandwagon creating an unregulated and unstable housing bubble. which crashed in 2008 with spectacular consequences for investors and average people alike. So why does this, why does this bias happen? Well, there are four things. The first one is shortcuts or heuristics. Fully thinking through an idea takes time and mental effort so our minds start to think about taking a shortcut. We skip this long process and rely on others. We, st we substitute our own evaluation with the widespread acceptance as a cue that whatever that thing is, is safe to adopt. Number two, I'm going to call this inclusion. As humans, we like to feel included into something. To avoid being the odd one out, many of us may go along with the behaviours and ideas of others, which can help towards inclusion and social acceptance. So this effect occurs, or this why occurs, as we wish to avoid the negative feelings we experience from being excluded from something, and to experience the positive feelings of being accepted, as well as to bolster our own position in, in a social setting or in a, in a group. Number three. illusory or illusory truth. So I'm going to add two terms here, fake news and propaganda. So this is sort of Ill illusory truth. Fake news and propaganda work because they expose people to the same idea repeatedly. This repetition can affect what people believe is true. As people tend to believe claims are more true if they have been exposed to them more and therefore begin to support them simply because of this exposure. And so this is another why of why you may jump onto a bandwagon or exhibit the bandwagon effect. And finally, number four, instinct. Instinctively, we may believe that the beliefs of the majority of others, of people that they uphold, feel right. And although not from proactively thinking about it, subconsciously, we may believe it to be safer to stand with rather than against a majority. Going back to one of my previous videos where I've sort of mentioned as humans, we are risk averse. And this is sort of this instinct um, aspect is going along in that direction. So how do we overcome this bias? Number one, slow down. 
slow down the decision making process by allowing time to pass from when we or you notice social signals. I would say go further as to isolate yourself from outside input before making a decision. Number two. Critical thinking. Following on from number one, as you've given yourself more time, as you've slowed down, use this time to think about how your ideas how your ideas, your needs, your opinions differ from others and assess if an alternative is actually better for you. Number three, research. In order to help with number two, with the critical thinking, it will be beneficial to look for reliable sources of information which are independent and that do not profit based on your choices. So by doing this research, you can make or arrive at a more informed decision. And finally, to add, although not a technique to overcome uh, this bias, so I'm not going to put it in this list, but when you do get to making a decision, it may help to do this in an environment where you don't feel pressurized. So you take yourself out of the pressurized environment and then you make the decision. And again, you, sh you should come to a better conclusion than if you are pressurized. This bias can override the, oh, spelt it wrongly, but override the capacity for critical thinking, or even simply thinking something through. So you don't even need to do critical thinking, but you just need to think it through. So it can override the capacity for doing this. And this, the critical thinking or thinking something through, is actually a key factor for making good decisions. So you're overriding that capacity and limiting yourself when, or restricting yourself from making a good or even a better decision. Now, just to caveat everything that I've said, there is a case that if the majority of others are doing something positive and we follow them as a result of, of its popularity, then this could result in a positive outcome too. So there is that case. So if we see others saving for retirement or putting money away in a pension pot and we don't really do much research, but we also say for a time, we also put money in a pension pot, then that is a, that is a positive outcome um, that can come about of, of this. So there is, an, there is a case that the bandwagon effect can lead to something positive too. But again, we must be careful because the same is true for negative outcomes, which I've sort of explained with these examples and, and everything else. So we have to be careful. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really, really does help my little channel grow. So thank you for doing that in advance. And if you have time, why not watch this video of mine? And I will see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.